I had a concussion as a result of a motor vehicle accident. I had been stopped in traffic and I was rear-ended at a high rate of speed and pushed into a car in front of me. The airbag deployed. After the concussion, I had um, headaches, very, very severe headaches, and I had um, blurry vision, double vision, and memory problems. Um, the headaches, I was not prone to migraines or anything before the accident. About eight months later, I had some upper cervical neck adjustments from a chiropractor, and that helped to reduce the intensity of the headaches, but I still had a constant headache day and night. It was like a dull ache at the back of my head, um, and then it would frequently get worse, but at best, it was always a dull ache. Um, my vision, I had extreme light sensitivity. It was very, very disruptive. Um, I had double vision for several months. I still have blurry vision and I still use prism glasses to read. Um, I also, I had trouble pers um, seeing things in front of me. I would keep pulling out in front of cars. I would look, the road was clear. I'd pull out and there was a car that I just didn't register. Um, also, I would see flickers of movement out of the sides, out of the corners of my eyes. I'd keep thinking someone had walked up beside me and I'd turn and there was nothing there. Um, my hearing was affected. I couldn't perceive where sounds were coming from, which direction. Something would come from the left or the right and I'd turn the wrong way to look. I couldn't tell where things were coming from. Also, I was extremely sound sensitive. I had to wear earplugs. And even that would only buy me some time before I got very, very sick and nauseated. Um, I, I couldn't talk on the phone or watch TV or listen to music or be in any noise, like be in a shopping mall or a grocery store or a restaurant. I, it would make me sick and I wouldn't last very long, even with earplugs, even with the color therapy glasses for the light sensitivity. Um, also, noise, it would make me, it would affect my balance and I would get this like brain fog. I, if it was worse in louder environments like a stadium or an airport, I would get vertigo. I'd have to hold on to the walls to walk. It felt like I was walking on the waves of the sea. Um, and I just, I couldn't think. I got lost in the airport. I couldn't, I couldn't understand where I was going. And I was very, very nauseated and sick. Um, I would get lightheaded and dizzy and I would feel like I was about to pass out and I was also very motion sensitive. I couldn't use elevators and um, just driving or walking. When I stopped walking, I felt nauseated and unbalanced. When I was driving, um, it was worse than stop and go traffic and especially if it, there was rain um, because the windshield wipers going back and forth and the lights of oncoming cars and then me stop and go, stop and go. Every time I'd stop, I'd get a little sicker and I'd go and I'd stop and get a little sicker. By the time I'd get to my destination, I was so lightheaded and dizzy and nauseated. I, it, it would take me up to two hours before the nausea would go away after just taking a one hour drive. Um, I was also very sensitive to vibrations. In parking garages, not only was it the noise, the echoey noise of the cars, but it was like I could feel the movement of the building. And I, it was like being inside of a drum. I'd have to run out of there as quick as I could. Um, if people walked by on the floor, I could sense the vibrations, like on a wood floor, and I could feel that, and it would make me nauseated. If I was in the upper floors of an office building, I would be able to feel, it was like, it's like I could feel the building breathing, especially if I touched the walls, if I leaned against the wall or something, I, I could feel it and I, it would make me more nauseated and lightheaded and I, I couldn't stay in the room. Um, I also had brain fog, cognitive problems, memory problems. Um, I would get lost driving in familiar places. Um, not be able to stay on task. I'd start to make a bed and I'd get it half done and just walk away and just I just thought I had finished it and I hadn't. I had poor reading comprehension when I would write. I would write words wrong. I'd mix up the letters or write words backwards. Um, anything to do with numbers. I couldn't remember phone numbers. Um, I couldn't maintain my checkbook. I couldn't follow recipes. So I, I just, it was very hard to function. Anything to do with light, sound, 
or movement or using my brain to remember anything was everything just took longer and everything made me sick. Um, because of these symptoms, I couldn't hang out with my friends. I couldn't eat in a restaurant. Even going to the grocery store, I would, I would not read. I would not listen to any music. So my brain would be as fresh as it could be. I'd go to the store, with color therapy glasses, earplugs. I'd carry a bag in my pocket in case I threw up. I would go in there just for a few things and not look up. I'd walk through the store looking at the floor because walking and looking at rows of items on the shelves made me sicker faster and I would just run in get a couple things and run back out um, and that was on a good day. Sometimes I'd walk up to the store and I'd just have to leave. I couldn't even get through it at all. After the surgery um, I had surgery on my left ear six months ago and after that it was an immediate improvement. I was rolled into surgery with my usual headache. I woke up and I did not have a headache and that lasted for a week. No headache. Um, I did not need any nausea pills. I did not need any pain medication after the surgery. Um, I do still get headaches at times now but I do have a neck injury and I'm hoping that if my neck gets better, the headaches will also get better. Um, I can now listen to the radio, I can watch TV, I can talk on the phone, I can be in crowds, I can do my own grocery shopping, I can hang out with my friends, I can go to movies. Um, before, if I rolled over in bed, I'd get, it felt like my head was still rolling. Or if I was in a, in a group of people and they were talking and I would turn my head to look at people as they spoke, just moving my head side to side, it made me sick and I would get very nauseated. I couldn't even do that. So I can walk, I can drive, I can turn my head, um, I don't get dizzy, I don't get the balance problems that I did, um, I don't see flickers of movement out of the corner of my eyes, and I can enjoy life and do things that I hadn't been able to do for quite some time.